wake me up? I've got tons to do today. I don't think you'd be up to it. Yeah, of course I am. <sighs> Where'd you get to last night? Only the sofa. It's funny what goes round your head at three in the morning when you're laying there. Thoughts just going round and round. Come on, today ain't the day for that. But we could see another specialist. Look, we don't want anyone else going through this, do we? Hey? So today we're going to dress up like Toss and we're going to raise loads of money for the fundraiser. Look, we can't okay? just pretend that everything's normal. All right? What about everyone else, eh? Lexi, Billy, Ben, your mum. How am I going to look any of them in the eye? <gasps> oh, I want the green one for Dad. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I'm about to say. I, d I don't want to. I wasn't going to tell you guys because I thought that that way I'd be protecting you, but. I can't do this on my own. And neither can Jay. So what I want to say, please keep to yourself, cos I want to tell Pops myself, yeah? This brain tumour of mine... It's got bigger. What, what do you mean? Hang on, what are we, uh, What are we talking, Jay? Six months, maybe. Lex, come here, babe. Ben. No, she does not need to hear this. Ben. We can't protect her from this anymore, you know. There's nothing they can do. I wish there was. Sweetheart. I've only just found you. I know, Mum. Well, this isn't fair. I mean, there's got to be something they can do. I'll stick all my money in that bucket if I have to. It's too late for that now. For me, anyway. I'm still not going to get better. Oh, sweetheart. You have to. It just didn't go my way, darling. <laughs> oh, so... I'm secretly saving. Rex, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't beat it. And I tried. I gave it everything I've got. I promise you, I tried. I did. We really need to do whatever we can today. And dig deep and please help. Most sufferers don't want to talk about it to their family or their friends. Because when they do, it becomes real. And you have to accept it. But what I do want to say is, let your family and friends in. Let them love you. Let them care for you. Because it is a tough road. But you don't have to walk it alone. So thank you all, and I love you all. Cheers. That's my mum. What are you doing out on your own? I'm not completely useless. I'm just getting a bit of fresh air. No, I don't want you overdoing things, OK? I'm not. Look. Come in here with me. Come, watch out. Just look up the air. Right. Right? Right? Right. How did you think that parental responsibility session went? Yeah, good. Good. Us too. Just showing up ain't really enough, though, is it? Yeah, I was going to see if you wanted me to pick Lexi up from school today. She is, but I'm going to grab her today. I'm going to pick her from school and go straight to the leaving parties. Yeah. Kim's organising. Yeah, but I said low-key. Just Kim actually do low-key. Come here, quick, quick! Oh, OK, OK. Come here. Come here. Come here. Surprise! Kim, I said low-key. Well, this is as low-key as I go, babe. Oh, guys, I can't believe you've gone through all this effort for me. You know, darling, you've been a huge part of the salon's success, and we're really going to miss you, aren't we? I'm just so grateful, you know, for today, for working with you guys, and just having this place, like, when things got tough. <laughs> I'm going to really miss it. Oh, no. Oh, come on, stop it, cos I can't sing it from crying. <laughs> 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 <Sorry>. Stop it. <laughs> 
want you to be her man. That's it, You know what? If something's bad happened, I would no. never forgive myself. What's that? happened? What's well, listen, I think she must have sneaked out of the salon when we weren't paying attention. She's not answering her calls and we can't find her. She might have had a seizure. She, she, she could be a... Please, no, no. 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 OK, listen, right, she can't have gone far. Jay, why don't you get back to the house and make sure she hasn't got herself to bed? The rest of us, we just spread out and check yeah. everywhere, OK? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, shops, alleyways, anywhere she could have slipped in unknown. Okay. It's right, come on. Lola! Lola! Oh, what's happened? How are you end up here? I don't know. I wanted to, but I, I, could, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. It's OK, darling. It's OK. It's not OK, though, is it? Look, I'm, I'm just getting fired. I'm just getting fired. No, no, just, you're just, you're just tired. Come on, let's get you no, on, please. yeah? No, I don't want to die like this. It ain't going to happen like this. Let me... Please, she, she can't see, see me. Ernest, mum, she has to help me. I can't go like this. Not like this, Look, please. please. I swear to you, I swear to you, I'm not going to let it happen like this, OK? And I will do whatever it takes <laughs> to make sure that it's all right. I promise. Lola. Hello. Hi. You're looking much brighter than when you arrived. I feel much better. Now, did you want everyone to stay whilst we chat? Or... Yeah, please. If that's okay. Of course. Now, we've had the MRI results back. And I'm afraid it's not the news we were hoping for. I'm sorry to say that your most recent cycle of palliative chemotherapy hasn't had the desired effect. The scan shows that the tumour has spread again. No. Are you sure? We always knew the success rate of this chemotherapy cycle to halt the cancer growth could be low. But it was absolutely worth a try. I'm so sorry. But we feel we've reached the end of the road in terms of treatment. We're talking weeks. <laughs> rather than months. You know, last night, Mummy didn't mean to show you. Sometimes, when grown-ups are poorly and they're in pain, they say and do things that they don't mean. <laughs> Do you think you won't do it again? Be in so much pain that you shout at me. No. I don't think so. If you are, you can tell me. I could rub your head, maybe. Hold your hand, see if it helps. Being with you always makes me feel better. Something that I want to tell you. I love you to the moon and back. When are you going to tell her? When I can't get up out of the bed or remember a name, I think you should have a pretty good idea. Look, if if 
if she really on my tip. You know. Then I, I, I will. Do you really mean that? I mean, you, you, you're right. There's no need to put Lexi through all this, is there? No need to put none of us through it all. And I can't let you do it on your own. So this... If this is... how you want it to be... Then I'll make it. But... You have to tell Jack. Because he deserves it. Standing on a beach, Margate, I think, and then I was in the sea. I want to go back there. I want to see the sea for one last time. You can take that. No, you won't. If you're worried it's the hospital, I'll take it. If you're worried it's about getting an earful. It's not the hospital. It's my guitar teacher. About to cancel his lessons, so he's probably just checking in. Hey, hey. You're learning to play the guitar. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I kind of wanted it to be a surprise. <laughs> what are you going to do? Rock up at the hospital with a guitar and play me a song? You make it sound stupid, but yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what I was going to do, actually. <laughs> Puts on a makeup and brushes her long, long hair. And then she asks me, Do I look all right? And I say, Yes, you look wonderful tonight. I know you don't want to talk about it, but I have to. Jay, I could wake up tomorrow and everything's changed. I don't want to die in the hospital. I don't want it to be like that. Well, do you want to be at home, then? You know, we can get nurses in, whatever it takes. No, I mean dying in the way they say that I'm gonna. I've been looking for a way to tell you this all day. I don't want it to be like that. Just getting weaker and weaker until I'm just a body in a bed. I want to be me. I want to be me right up until the end. I talked to Pops and I've asked him. He said he'd help me. He said he'd help me to die. You're talking about killing yourself, which, bar anything else, is illegal. Why are you making this so difficult? Because I'm angry. That's why I am angry. And this ain't fair. It's not fair that we've got to have this conversation. It's not fair that Lex is going to lose her mum. It's not fair that I'm going to have to carry on without you. If you really want to do this, and if there's nothing I can do to change your mind, then let me help you do it. I wasn't asking you. I'm your husband, right? And I love you more than anything. And it will break my heart, though. Believe me, it will. But it shouldn't be Billy, should it? It should be me. I'm not going to do it. But I wanted someone to help me die. It's just because I was scared. But when I think of her, but I leave her. The example that I set, that makes me want to be brave. I can do this. I can die. And I try.
literally, I can't do this. Jay! 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 Oh. Let me out of oh, oh, you left me on my own. Please, if I'd leave you on your own. Mm. All right, we're in this together. You and me, I promise. Every step. Every step. <laughs> so have you recovered? Yeah. From Margaret. Yeah. It was worth it, weren't it? I don't think this lot will agree. I told her I'm going to the ladies' day at the races next, and the nurse nearly had a heart attack. Got in a bit of ag for taking you, didn't I? But still, won't matter soon. I'm coming home. What? Yeah, but darling, we haven't got half the things you need at home. No, they do it all. You know, take the bed, the community nurses, they take care of it all. Yeah, and I don't want you lot to keep trekking back and forward up here. And I need to spend as much time as I can with Lexi. We need to, uh... We need to talk to Lexi because... Well, we need to let her know that it might not be long now. I'm sure you're all right. It's supposed to be six months, Jay. And that's weeks. There are millions of horrible people in this world and he chooses me for this, eh? Who does? God. Elvis. Little green men from Mars. That ain't even half the stuff we're gonna need, you know. This ain't gonna get any easier for any of us, is it? Over the threshold. Okay. Not even Ariana gets his treatment. Fine, just need to go and talk to Lola. She ain't doing so well, is she? No, she's not. I saw her little face when they brought her out the ambulance. I can't imagine what it's like. It's just so hard, Son, you know. I weren't going to give you this. Billy said Lola's not into it, but I'm going to. It's our local reverend, Irene Mills. She really, really helped me when Dot died. Lola should talk to someone. Someone who's done this before. Anything that brings that girl a bit of comfort, right? Now you look after yourself. Right? Yeah, I will. Thomas? Yeah. Thanks, Anna. I really appreciate it. So we'll come in twice a day and check Lola's syringe driver, give her meds she requires, and just generally check she's comfortable. And what about the headaches and sickness? Should have stayed in the hospital. Well, look, she'll still be on her anti-sickness and pain relief meds, and if she gets any more pain, then we can give her some extra morphine. But what about, um, like, changing her and moving her? Well, our team will do all of that. Look, we're here to make sure this is as comfortable a time as possible. Jane, can you go to the shop, please? Mm, some sweets and some chocolate for Lexi? Yeah. Hey. What's 
all this rubbish about you getting baptised? You ain't even religious. It's just what I want. Now, someone's got in your head, haven't they? No, you, you, you better not be giving up. You've got to stay positive for, for as long as you can. Ben, will you give it a rest? I have told Lexi that you are going to be at her first day of school in September. You cannot stop fighting. I'm not. Look, she doesn't need this. She should be in a hospital. This vicar coming round, they could have, I don't know, an infection or something, and you're taking too many chances. Yeah, this is what I want to be, You then. are too ill for this, darling, OK? You need all the help you can to keep you alive. You need medication, not religion. Ben, please. You can't give up, you know? Ben, ben enough! Oi, what have you said to Honey? Just asked a question. Well, she's in a right state over there. She's always in a right state. Billy said, I've no idea what Lola wanted. What? You might as well tell me, because I'll find out. Lola was worried that in the end the pain would get too much, so she asked Billy to... Well, you know. To kill her. Look, it ain't happening now, all right? She's changed her mind. Plus, I said if anyone needed to do it, it was going to be me. But like I said, it ain't happening. You are not killing Lola. She's my wife and I'd do anything for her. So don't pretend like you care about her because you ever did was use her to prove to yourself that you weren't gay. You've got to, to hold it together. Don't tell me what I've got to oh, do. You stop making this all about you. My wife is dying. Stop being so selfish. So come to the baptism, don't come to the baptism. Quite frankly, I don't care. You know, uh, you know, your Graham, she, she took her own life. Yeah? Yeah. Because I refused to. No. She said she couldn't cope with him, but she, she, she begged me. Uh, oh. I just couldn't. Yeah, because it's wrong. No, because I'm a coward. You know, I let her down just when she needed me the most. I should have stepped up for her and been there, you know, to help her out more. But... So stop making this all about you. you know, just get yourself over to Billy's and, and be there for Lola. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm an idiot. Yeah. You are. You gotta get baptized. And Jay and Callum. Because we've all got to be together again. Look, thanks for coming, man. Yeah. No, I get it. What Billy and you were prepared to do. Glad she changed her mind. Hi, right, can I leave a message for Dr. Washington, please? Yeah, it's Ben Mitchell. We spoke before. Yeah. Listen, I've promised my daughter that Lola is going to be around in September. I need her to help me make sure that that happens. All this stuff with Lola, I, um, she was willing to end it all, leave it with Billy and Jay. No, look, she wasn't, Ben. I actually changed her mind. Come on, you, you can't apologise for something one minute, then kick off the next. I ain't going around there to kick off, neither. I'm going to see her oncologist, Dr Washington. Oh. C Callum, uh, uh, I bailed her secretary last night. She said that she'd give me a call this morning. Oh, this smells awful. Why are you going to see Dr. Washington? Because I read about a new trial in America. It extended this guy's life by six months, Callum. Imagine what they can do for Lola in that time. Imagine the drugs she could get. We're talking babies, Ben. We're talking might. Yeah, but we don't know if we don't try. And someone has to find out. All everyone's talking about is making sure that Lola is comfortable, that she's not in pain. Which is important. I, I know that the drugs that she's on, that they are helping, but but there are there are other drugs, right? Uh, experimental ones, ones that can buy her a bit more time. 
Which we couldn't offer here. I know she'll have to go abroad. And she's far too ill to even think about getting on a plane. Even Margate was a stretch. But if, if the plane is, is kitted out proper, you know, with, with, with nurses and that... The cost would be crippling. I don't care about the cost, OK? I don't care what I have to pay. I just need to get Lola what she needs to help her. And is Lola on board with this? She doesn't need to know right now. Ben, I can't have you making all these problems all the time. You haven't got any problems, have you? Life's a breeze, isn't it? Because one day it's a baptism and then it's, it's a party the next. Hey, we're doing this for Lola. No, you're having a high time of doing it as well, aren't you, Result. Oh, that ain't fair, Ben. Look, this is about making her last oh. weeks, her days, as good as they can be, right? Like I did in Margate. But there you go again. Her last day. Well, I've just seen her doctor, so I can buy her, I don't know, maybe a few more last days while you sit around quaffing shampoo. Oh, Ben, shut up. You're being ridiculous now. Do you know what the lot of you are? You cowards. You want to say that again? Bill. Billy, Lola is going to see Lexi's first day of school because I'm going to keep my promise whether you lot do or not. I don't know what he's going to do, all right? But he's not in a good place right now. But just come over, please. I'll try talking to him, but you are his dad. You've got to try talking to him too. Try stopping me, you mean? No, try making you see sense. I'm going to that clinic. The one that I told you about. In America? Yep. I've already built them up. They don't know if they can do anything and they won't. Not until they've seen right. someone face to face. OK, I'm not having this, Ben. I'm sorry. Right, I'm not having you put yourself through all this. If it don't work, then it don't. But at least I can say I tried. I can stand there by Lola's grave and I can say that I did absolutely everything I could. And you've got to see... You've got to see how important that is to me. If you can't... What? I need your support over anybody else's, OK? I feel like I've got the whole world against me right now and I can't feel like I've got you against me as well. Is that a yes? I've got your support. I'll always support you. Lex, just jump off the bed a sec. That's it. Good girl. All right. All right. Bill, you just give us a minute, please. Yeah. Can't stay. Just, um... She's, she's not got long. A few days, maybe. Billy, I'm so sorry. No, I'm OK. I'm just... It's more worried about Lexi. No. I think, you know, it'd be good for her to spend some more time with her dad. I've been trying to ring him, but he's not answering. And uh, the arches, they're all closed up. So I just wonder whether you knew. Uh, he's, he's gone to pick up the car. It would be, be on the tube, wouldn't he? No service. When was the last time you seen him? It's OK, mate. Yeah, just leave it with me. He's done a run of him. No, I don't think it's that big. I don't I... believe this. I don't believe this. The mother of his daughter is dying over there. She's dying, and that little girl needs her dad. Where is he? Bill, come on, I, I'm sure... Don't he's... try and defend him. You, of all people, should know that given the choice between himself and his family, he'll choose himself every time. Every time! Excuse me, Billy. I hope I'm not intruding. Well, you will. I know this is not an easy time for you and your family, especially Lexi. Losing a pair of... She ain't lost anyone yet. No, of course. Look, this is for her. From all of us. We don't need your charity. It's not charity. It's a gesture of support from my family to yours. Uh, to let Lexi know that we understand what a hard time she's having. 
Especially with her father unable to be here for her. Or unwilling, as the case may be. What's that supposed to mean? Come on, Billy, why don't you come and sit down, eh? No, he's right. I can't speak of Ben's motivations. Big man, wouldn't you? Putting on a show in front of everyone with your teddy bear. She's ten years old. She don't need a poxy teddy bear. She needs a mum. But I know how difficult this is for you. All you want to do is protect your family, and you're unable to do so. You want to All right, Phil. Let's uh, let's get some fresh air. Yeah, let's get some fresh air, shall we? Right. Let's get inside. Billy, Billy, Billy. Billy. It's not fair for Lola, and it's not fair for Lex. It's not just them, though, mate. They're not the only ones who are suffering, all right? They're <laughs> the only ones who are going to miss stuff. <laughs> Mickey! Who cares about me, Mark? Who cares about me, too? He attacked a police officer. You can get him out, Cody Jack. I thought it would be a quick night in the cells and a ticking off, but... Nish has given a witness victim statement. He wants to go to court, so it's out of my hands. The CPS want to make a case about it. It's down to them, not me. A case? So it's down to Nish that he's still in it. OK, what if he, um, you know, changes his mind, Jack, or, or withdraws his statement? What happens then? He could be released. Phil, wait. Hi. How's she doing? Not, not good. Unfortunately, Billy did cause serious damage to my property. And I need a crime number or my insurance won't pay out. If you don't need a statement, no, do you? Phil, please. Look, I know Billy committed a crime and, and he was wrong. I'm, I'm sorry. But put yourself in his shoes. Yeah, I mean, you're a family man, aren't you? You're a dad. Please. I'm begging you, please, show some mercy. <sighs> I just wish Billy made better choices. Grateful. That was cold. Your husband won't withdraw his statement against Billy. Excuse me? Which means he's going to miss saying goodbye to Lola. I'm sorry, honey, but what Nish does or doesn't do has got nothing to do with me. Well, I suspect you could be more persuasive than you realise. Because if you don't get him to change his mind, I'm going to tell him. I'm going to tell him about the night that I was sat on your sofa thinking that I was just being a caring friend while all the while you were waiting to stick your tongue down my throat. I don't want to use blackmail, Suki, because I'm not that type of person. But sometimes in life you have to reach down deep in the mud and fling it so hard because, frankly, that's all you have left. Are we clear? Crystal. Is here. Oh, you really need to know. This how much I love you. <laughs> oh, I love you. Forever. I'll always be here for you. 
Can she still hear me? You've still got time to say goodbye, if that's what you're asking me, but... Oh, no. We're close. Uh, ben sends his love? Yeah. Yeah, he's on his way, got it. You know, if he was here now, he... He'd say that you and Lex were the best thing that's ever happened to him. We're going to take such good care of her, I promise. Don't you worry. That girl, she's... She's one in a million. Just like her mum. Goodbye, Lo. I couldn't say goodbye to her, Sharon. I just couldn't. I just... Death isn't something you ever get used to. Look after her, Mum. Please. Lex, I ain't having you fussing around with no varnish now, all right? It won't take long. Mum wouldn't mind. I mind. Right, I don't want that stuff up my nose. Mum likes the smell. Oh, Lex, please, babe, not now. But why? Lex! She's my mum! I'm sorry. Why don't I leave you with Mum? Hey, paint her nails and play her favourite song if you like. You don't mind? Where are you going? You tend to have Mum to yourself. What do you want to come back as? A fox, yeah? Yeah, I can see you coming back as a fox. Wily, sassy, scrappy. Sexy too. Yeah, all right, you can come back as a fox. What about me? Hey, what will I come back as? A rat? <laughs> it's a bit below the belt, that baby. Isn't it? Still. I'd come back as a rat as long as as long as I get to rummage through the bins with you. I'll take whatever I'm given. Although, although you ain't speaking, I can still hear you. <laughs> Your gobby voice is going to be in my head forever. <laughs> Look, love, the sun's come up for you. On purpose, to She did it 
Au revoir. 